Hi, everyone, and welcome to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. Wendy has spent the last two years helping women with various stages of endometriosis to heal naturally after putting her condition into remission. After her own healing success from stage four endometriosis and adenomyosis, she's inspired to heal others, and her goal is to help some of the 175 million women know that there is another way other than painkillers, drugs, or surgery. This is the place to be for real talk with real people for real results so you can learn how to heal your endometriosis naturally. Please note that the opinions expressed in this program may represent options but are not a substitute for proper medical care. Before starting any new healthcare program, we recommend you consult with a health professional. Hey everyone, it's Wendy K. Level here and I hope you are having a fantastic week. I am jumping on quickly to share that I have a very special gift for you and also just to watch out for the wolves in sheep's clothing. Now, the reason I say that is my my gift to you is uh, for the next 24 hours, my uh, second edition, which has been fully revised, updated and added to, and I have 131 recipes, um, is now available for you to purchase on Amazon worldwide. And it's called Endometriosis Naturally Cookbook. And as I say, it's got a, a fantastic range of foods. I know on my journey, I really struggled with food to know what to eat, what not to eat. There was so much misinformation, miscommunication. And to be honest, a lot of the time I felt so overwhelmed, I would just grab for a bar of chocolate or a packet of crisps or potato chips or something that I knew would just add more inf inflammation to my body. So it took me a while to kind of figure out what worked for my body. Now, the premise that I go under um, is probably slightly different to a lot of the mainstream that, that's out there, but it's worked for me. As you know, I put 33 years of endometriosis, adenomyosis, and a list of other symptoms and, and diseases into remission. So what I put into this book uh, very lovingly, it's, it's, I call it like an endo boss book baby because I have put so much love, drive, attention into this uh, this book with, with my team as well. It's incredible how much work goes into it, but I feel it's so worth it if it just helps to give you some level of confidence, some understanding, and just start to, dare I say, even have fun with food. As I say, for me, food just felt like just overwhelming stress. And then even if I did eat food and I was being told to eat protein and all that, because I couldn't actually digest it. So some of the ideas in there are designed for women at all stages of the journey. Um, you've got sort of uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, soups, smoothies, juices, and even, dare I say, some fantastic puddings. So I don't want you to be feeling deprived on this journey, but I do want to give you the, the recipes and the meals and the and, and the things that I eat that I know that my body really likes. Ultimately, we're going for what I what I, I would refer to as the cave woman kind of mentality, eating as simply and as clean as possible without having to be feeling deprived. Because again, that's the other element. We don't want to feel that we're depriving ourselves because it makes the journey that bit harder. So my gift is 50% off today for the next 24 hours on amazon.com and amazon.co.uk. I'm going to be putting the links into the, the, the um, into the text, so do check them out. Um, it's really important to me that you get this so that in your hands so that you can just start to feel a bit more confident. It's amazing as well. As you know, it's the first of the five P's, it's produce. And it's amazing how many women can really start to notice a significant difference in their inflammation and their pooling and their dragging and their monthly cycles within about sort of 10 to 12 weeks of even just adopting and adapting their eating habits as well. Now, as I say, it is the first P of the five P's. So um, if you haven't, as I've said in earlier podcasts, if you haven't had the, the desire that you've sought just through eating food, then don't despair. There's probably some other elements to be looking at as well, which I'll be covering um, later on. And I just want to add as well, it's not often I actually go on to Amazon at all, really, but I me and my team are on Amazon because obviously we're, we're uploading the, the book. And oh my goodness, it's amazing how many people have, uh, and I say uh, males who are doctors in the medical realm have come in and started to you know uh, upload books and, and do whatever, which is fine. But I do just want, you to remind you to trust your own instincts who would you rather trust a woman who has previously experienced 33 years of the condition and put it in remission or a man who's never even had a period so just be really mindful this is why you know as I say it's it's really hard to 
um, put into words the amount of work that goes into this. Uh, but it's a work of love. You know, it's, it's kind of like when a mother does carry a baby, you know, there, there's a lot of, um, you know, things that happen in her body and in her life to get this beautiful result. So I really, truly hope that this book will give you this ability to be able to sigh a sigh of relief. As I say, there's, I, I've heard from some other women that these other books that are out there aren't necessarily from people who've even had a period, let alone suffer from endometriosis. So do beware of the wolf in sheep's clothing. Um, don't be, you know, despairing or misled uh, when it's a man who's never had a period talking about what you should eat and what you shouldn't eat. So trust your own instincts on it. Again, coming back to the cookbook, the suggestions that I'm making there, they work for my body. Now, it's super, super important that kind of part of you that, you know, the perfectionist part and the pusher part and the people pleasing part, just to start to learn to tune into your body. So anything that I'm suggesting to you, if your body doesn't like, then don't despair. Just try other things in there, depending on how ill you are or how much pain you're in or what's happening in your body and other conditions that you have. You may have to just you know, crib back and come back and be even more simple um, in, in some of the suggestions. So I've kind of made the, the recipes and the ideas for, for all women at all stages of the endometriosis journey. I also, as I say, want to make it fun and I want to make it, you know, flavorsome and tasty so you're not feeling deprived. So just keep tuning into your body. I've mentioned this a few times, really important to check in with your digestive juices, digestive enzymes, your beta and hydrochloric, if you are struggling with solid proteins. But remember, you can always take a uh, protein powder. I, I shared this with one of my uh, groups earlier this week. There was this article, this report that came out about how this uh, poor man had been in an airplane accident, uh, covered in uh, uh, airplane fuel, uh, was actually his he went on fire and it's just been horrific for him but he ended up in hospital for several months not surprising you know uh, being treated for his burns and he was encouraged to start eating you know uh, uh, increase his pro um, protein intake and even animal protein intake and again that I know that's a bit contentious for some people so don't worry about that but increase his protein intake to help his skin heal and repair and regenerate quicker so Super important on this endometriosis journey to increase your protein intake. Again, keep tuning into your body, seeing how it's responding. Are you having a uh, distension, endo belly? Endo belly is just that you've got some kind of irritation or inflammation that's coming into the body through your, your food. So watch out for wheat and corn and things like that. But the recipe book is 131 recipes, wheat-free, gluten-free and soy-free and corn-free. Um, but it doesn't mean to say that you're going to be deprived from eating the things that you, I know that you'll like and love. So that's my gift to you. And um, just keep knowing that, um, you know, you can do this, you know, make sure that you're really realistic with the time frames that you expect your body to heal. Make sure that you're journaling, make sure you're paying attention to your body. And uh, let me know what you think of the cookbook. As I say, it's my uh, gift to you to give you 50% off for the next 24 hours on Amazon. I hope you truly like it, love it. And um, yeah, I will be jumping on here again next week. But until then, to your health, look after yourself and keep you number one. Thanks for listening to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate us. If you're interested in learning more, you can download your top five jumpstart tips at healendometriosisnaturally.com and jump on the VIP email list. Remember to keep you number one. The world needs a healthy you.